Love it, putting some local talent under the spotlight on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Right now, though, we are back in the kitchen. Angie is back again to show us how to make a sherbet without need the need of an ice cream machine, which is very, very fancy, I might say, and delicious. A simple recipe that can really last in the freezer and will be ready for you when you feel like making a delicious dessert. So, uh, once again, a perfect recipe we put there in your Valentine's Day recipe bank, Angie. Back yep. you are. So, wait a minute, <laughs> sherbet. Mm. Um, I mentioned sherbet, uh, and I asked you, but, but I know sherbet as what we bought, a little tuck shops at school yes. use like a little powder the little powder yeah. that's sort of zingy in your mouth yes yeah so that it. is sherbet obviously yeah, that's a okay. confectionery sherbet this is another version of a sorbet really right so sherbet is also a sorbet that's got dairy added to okay it. So not confused at all but <laughs> okay got it <laughs> so it's a it's a lighter version of an ice cream it's a little bit more icy in its texture but it's very fresh and light okay which is rather nice especially okay. in this in this weather so what we are making we're making mm. a mocha a mocha which is coffee, coffee chocolate with a rocky road crumble as All you can that see, rocky road crumbles is something else. It looks divine. Tell. Look, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to hold myself back <laughs> to just dig in there. But Angie, let's put okay. it together. So we'll do the, the sherbet part first. So this, this is how easy it is. We're going to put everything into a processor or a jug blender, whatever you've got handy. Right. So we've got some um, brewed coffee, whatever coffee suits you, you know, if okay. you like the really fancy stuff. That's it. And then we've got some chocolate Hey, milk. some um, lekker clover super M's right yeah, there. Yeah, so we don't put all of the thing in. You can save the rest and drink it while you're working. <laughs> okay. um, and then a little bit of sugar as well. Um, All right. Whoopsie. So you can put the sugar is what's going to stop it becoming too icy. So it's got to be in there, and then you just whiz it up. Okay. Okay. It remains very liquid like that. You're right. going to chill it in the fridge just for a bit, so it's really nice and cold. And then there are two ways to do this without an ice cream machine. Okay. One is to just pour it into a really big tray, a flat tray that right. you can stick into the freezer. Okay. Then you put it in the freezer, you let it freeze and get icy, and then you take a fork or a whisk or something and you. you Wish it yeah. up again. Then you're back into the freezer. And you do that a few times. It's a bit of a process, but yeah. if you're at home, you can just do it over the day. But you don't need an ice cream machine. But you don't need an ice cream machine. Which is good. Yeah, or you can take two Ziploc bags, a bigger one with some ice in it, smaller one which you put this into inside, yeah. and then you shake it around. Okay. And then it kind of freezes it while you, you're moving it okay, around. Okay, so you can walk around and then the you house. End up with, <laughs> yeah, you walk around the house like that. And then you end up with that. And then your rocky road, which is the, the, the nice yes, part here. Yes, let's make some rocky roads. We've got some melted chocolate. Right. And this just adds that lovely texture, which is going to go so beautifully. Yes. I've used the mint chocolate because ah, it's really nice. Yes. We've got some crushed biscuits. Oh, wait. Sorry. We first have to put the honey or golden syrup. Okay. A little bit of butter. This is just to soften right. the chocolate up so it doesn't set completely solid. Right. Mix that up. And then you want to pop all of that stuff yes. in. Yes. So what do we have here? We have right. got some, got some, some good old Rice Krispies. Krispies. All of it? Yep. Well, as much as you want. Maybe that's that it? That yeah. I, I felt that. I felt that. <laughs> You're good at this. And then we have some crushed <laughs> Mari biscuits. Crushed Maris, which is great. You can add a few of those. That's great. That's good. And then some marshmallows. Ah, yes. And good marshmallows. That should be enough, yeah, right? I think that's perfect. Okay. I'll, I'll have one. Just <laughs> and um, that's it. Wow. Pour okay. it into... I mean, your kids can make this. It's so easy. It's, it's which is, super, which super is easy. Fantastic. Um, pour it in into the fridge for a couple of hours. That's going to sit. sit. And then you break it up, and then you serve it with your oh, rocky wow. road. Wow! Look at that. Quick and easy, mm. delicious. <laughs> the whole family is going to love this one. The keyword is dessert. SMS at two three three seven two eight. That's dessert two three three seven two eight. Go check it out on our website as well. A little bit later on today. That's expressoshow.com. <laughs> Angie, thank you very, very much. Pleasure. I know that you've done this for the photo a little bit later on, but uh, <laughs> you're going to eat it now. <laughs> just going to try some dessert to three three seven two eight. Mm. Oh wow. Take a moment between the madness to just chill with Super M. Made with love by Clover.